Hey there, Notion friend. In today's video, we're going to add charts to Notion. At the moment, Rose it's the best option to use for adding charts to Notion. We will use my minimalist daily planner template as example to evaluate my habits and mood tracker. Now, I'm going to check my water intake report. This month, I logged this habit 13 times. For sure, this water intake chart helps me to observe my progress through the year in detail. Let's move on to the annual reading report. It shows me how my reading habits have changed over time and helps me evaluate my reading progress. Now, we take a look at the mood tracker results. The stacked bar chart shows us the percentage of each mood. In the chart, the sky blue color indicates my focus mood. This chart gives me an overview of how my positive moods vary. For instance, the focus mood was logged six times this month, with a 16% rate compared to other moods. In the opposite case, negative moods can be seen more clearly in this graph. For example, the emotion of sadness is represented by the color red to this chart. That emotion was 8% of the total this month, with confused and awe next in line. Rose is the best solution to use for adding charts to Notion, particularly because it's free and an easy way to connect your workspace. Also, Rose supports the integration with more apps. So, let's go to my spreadsheet, where I make the graphics. The Rose workspace is neat and tidy, that's something I really appreciate. Navigating through the charts and tables is very smooth. We have finished the introduction, now let's make a new chart. First, add a new spreadsheet. The next step is to click on the Data Action button to import the data from Notion. Here you will see. We need to insert the database ID. So if we go back to our template here we can copy the ID of our database by opening it. Then we just click the three dots here choose Copy Link to View. Paste it. And click here. Excellent! Your database information is connected. This workspace is for the habits that I practice. So, I'll assign a title and a table as well. Once you're done, go to the Edit Data Table menu. You have the option to hide the table columns that are not necessary for the charts. To organize the columns field, simply drag and drop them. Rose has a feature that lets you update your data automatically. Depending on your subscription level, you can also choose how often to update the spreadsheet. With the free plan, you can refresh your data once a day. Save all changes. Your results are summarized by date in the habit report. The date, shown in a format of month and year, will be used later. Next, go to the bar menu and choose the insert option to make a new table. This pivot table will help us to simplify the actions later. Let's start now by entering in some data. I'll click into cell A1 and here I'll type in a header month and year. Move down the cell, and here I'll list the months. Now, move over to the next cell, and type each year. We're going to use the previous format with a dash to separate the month from the year. And I'll fill the column for the rest of the months. Next, I can press and hold the cells, then I could drag it right, and manually fill in all the different years. Great! Now let's click on this guide, which will open up a pop-up menu. Here, I can create a new table. Finally, this table is the annual habit report, where we'll create different charts to show our habits. Alright, first, I copy the months and paste them on my annual report. Then, I'll scroll up to the top of the page and copy the habits of the first table. It's important to follow the order of the habit list. So go ahead, enter the equal sign, and type the, the sum if function. We need to fulfill those three conditions. Now I'm going to select the reference column A1 from the connected spreadsheet. Add the comma, the criteria range will be our date format for this year from the pivot table. Click on the cell B2. Comma, the sum range is going to be basically the first habit, that is red. And select the reference column B1. 
Now, I'll manually add the dollar signs to the reference cells. We just press enter and drag down the cell to display the reading logs for every month. Then, drag to the right for the rest of habits. Great. Finally, I'll add a new chart. Right here, we can view the different chart types. I'm going to select the column chart and mark the data range. The chart looks unclear, you can adjust the chart. Just remove the habits you don't want and leave one checked in the chart editor. Next, I'll name the chart. In this case, it is my annual reading report. If we want to add another habit chart, we can just click on the options and then we're going to duplicate it. This new graph is for the water intake report, so we need remove the previous habit and select the new one. Also, we can customize colors. Excellent, we have completed the process of making the chart. To finish, we are going to embed this chart now in the Notion page. A pop-up will open that enables the option to share the chart. Copy the link and paste it in the habit page. After that, repeat the process for the rest of your habits. Alright, we are going to continue this tutorial with the mood tracker graphics. Let's move to rows, we can set up a new workspace, that I'll name moods. Basically, we need to do what we did in the habits workspace again. First, synchronize the Notion data. Second, organize your spreadsheet. Don't forget active the schedule refresh. After that, we'll make a spreadsheet that I'll use to create a new pivot table. Well, to speed up the process, we can copy and paste the previous table. Then, this last spreadsheet contains the mood tracker's summary. We use the sum if function to fill the three conditions with the new data. We find the range in the column A of the spreadsheet synced with Notion. Type the comma. The criterion is on the pivot table we used for habits before. Comma, and the sum range is in column B of the mood tracker log. Add the dollar signs to the formula, and press enter. Then, just drag this down and to the right too. Now, we are going to group the positive and negative moods. In order to analyze the data from the mood tracker log, make two new columns and group the moods by the case using the sum formula. Sum up the positive and then the negative moods. Great, we can add the chart. In this case, we'll choose the stacked bar to show the mood tracker. Select the table area and then click on the option to group the data by columns. Now, I'll separate the chart into two groups for a clearer comparison of positive and negative moods. This chart contains positive moods, so, we need to remove the negative ones. If you prefer, keep the total of negative emotions and compare with the rest. Then, basically, make a copy of the chart and repeat the process in the other case. Great. Embed this chart in your Notion page it's the last step you need to do. Once they're done, we can give an overview of the charts in Notion. Finally, just need to give a click to journal every day. It's really simple to track habits, moods and others. Thanks for watching, for more details about the template check the description below. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.